watch that with uh, step number 10. We have looked at so far from step number one to step number nine, and now we do step number 10. So step number 10 tells us that um, the page layout, uh, change the page layout so that the subheading global market growth and all the following text is displayed in two equal, uh, rather in, in um, two columns of equal width um, with a one centimeter space between the columns. So what I'm gonna do, um, just take note, it's two columns and it's supposed to be one centimeter apart starting from global, uh, global market. So let's go here. Uh, global market is this this one so select it go all the way to the end of the lead, um, the document and you're going to go to layout then columns more columns two and then make it one centimeter apart okay okay so that looks good then the next thing that you're supposed to do is uh, locate and copy the sentence this one one reason many people then followed by some other sentence and then a lifelong adventure now i must here just pause for a moment and uh, remind you what the question is saying the question is saying copy it's not saying move it's saying copy so which means um there will be a duplicate of the whatever saying data that you are copying okay so this is very very important because one of the temptation that you can get and it has been um, in the past that most questions that have been asked uh, about moving um, uh, uh, basically based on moving one paragraph from one where it is positioned to another place and so on but in this case it doesn't make sense uh, for somebody to tell you to create a copy of something so you might feel it's time to delete it when in fact it's not time to delete that okay so we're going to make a copy so we're looking for where the sentence starts with one reason many people and um, a quick way you can find this is basically just by searching so hit ctrl f on your keyboard and just say one way and uh, is it one way or what um, it's supposed to be one reason not one way one reason okay so one reason and this one so one reason many people choose and then it's supposed to be ending um, with um, a lifelong adventure so to the point where it's lifelong adventure which is just this part here we are copying this sentence as it is so right click and copy it please don't cut um you're just supposed to copy this okay and we are taking it um we are taking it to um it appears as a new paragraph after the text mental and emotional health so we are going to come back here and search for mental and emotional health. So just right at the end here. So just put the case at the end there. And so sometimes you can be told that it should be a new paragraph after the text mental and health. Or you may be told that it will just be a new sentence. So you need to check this. So it appears as a new paragraph. Okay, so which means the moment you hit health here, um, after the full stop, you need to hit enter key on your keyboard to create a new paragraph. So I'll hit enter key to create a new paragraph and I'll go ahead and paste this work that I copied, this text that I copied. So just keep the source formatting, that's fine because it, you already applied the body text style to it. So that should be okay. So that is that. Um, next. Using the data in the file, j2, uh, j2120 growth.csv, create a vertical bar chart to show the forecast um, growth of gross, um, cross country rather events only for the years 2020 to 2023. So, um, yeah, we're going to do just that. Uh, so, we'll open up um, the file. Uh, it's a CSV file, I guess. So, we just double click on it. By default, we expect it to open with a spreadsheet package. Uh, I'll just close up that and okay. So get it like this, and we want to show uh, for cross country. We want to show uh, using the data in the file, create a vertical bar chart to show the forecast uh, growth of cross country events only. So cross country events are actually these ones in line four, and these are the ones that we want to show. Uh, to create a vertical budget for so just um, uh, 
you need to create it's for the years 2020 to 2023 so you can just select the two um like that and go to insert and um you can insert um in fact this is not supposed to be the case um you're supposed to just select this one as it is and let's try to represent it as a chart like that okay so once i do this then i need to show these as years okay so basically what you can do just right click on this and go to select data and then uh, where you have one two three four you need to specify what your axis is going to be so just click on edit and then select the axis that you have there and you should have now the years at the bottom instead of the numbers um one two three okay but um yeah that's that's that's, that's the case so label the chart with the title growth in cross country events and take note again the first letter is actually uppercase letter and except on in the rest is uppercase letter so we're going back here and it's supposed to be growth in cross country event so just just say growth in cross country events okay growth in cross country events then come back here and they have told you to format the axis values um uh, the, format the axis um the value axis scale rather to display the title number of events okay so the axis value is the left one so we, we're going to come here uh, add axis and we need only um or the title axis rather we need um the vertical one which is the value axis so here this one the title must be um number of events so we just say number of events and just make sure about the capitalization and then the minimum value should be nine thousand and the maximum value should be ten thousand five hundred so click here go to format axis and then the minimum should be 9,000, not 90,000, 9,000, and the maximum should be 10,5. Okay. And then also come back to, sorry, down in this one, down in this one, and down in this one, increments of 250. So major and put 250. Okay. So that is perfect. Um, display on the values display only the values as data labels above each bar do not display the category axis title or a legend so come back here make sure there's no legend so where there's legend um, make sure there's no legend uh, uh, legend and then make sure also um, that the data labels um, are visible and they're supposed to be outside um, like that so just select that that's perfectly fine um insert the chart after the paragraph ending number of cross-country events make sure that the chart and all the data fits within the column width and all the data labels are displayed in full with no overlap so i'm going just to come back here um so we'll look first of all for the paragraph we'll copy the chart first of all come here uh copy the chart and then we'll come back to um, the question paper and look for the paragraph um, um, which ends number of cross-country events and after that that's where we're going to hit enter key on a keyboard and paste the chart so number of cross-country events so we're going to go to our web document and search for number of cross-country events number of cross-country events which is this one here so put your case at the end there hit enter key and paste your chart like that okay so i hope that makes sense um the next thing that you're supposed to do is import the image j2021 20 rider and place it in the paragraph beginning most races are organized so again you need to find this paragraph which starts most races are organized so what you do again you search and then navigation here and say most races um, most races are organized so just verify that that's the one most cases 
are organized, yes. And then we're going to insert, um, so we, we'll put the, insert the image um, at that paragraph. So what you do is that when you find that paragraph, you put the cursor at the start of this paragraph. So if you're inserting it on the left, you put it at the start of the paragraph. If you're inserting on the right, you put it at the right side of the paragraph. That should be fine. But I like it, put it on the left side, and then I can always align the image right side or left, uh, depending on which direction you're asking me. So come and insert uh, from this device, and we're going to browse um, to the files that we are looking for. So it's Rider, and then um, just insert. So this is the image, and we'll come back to the question paper. Crop the image to remove the top third, uh, i.e. most of the sky above the clouds. So, um, so if you break the image into like um, a third, so the top third is supposed to be just somewhere maybe um, like one third just somewhere around here so let's go ahead and crop this and we'll remove probably just just about just about this this could be a third or just around here it doesn't have to be precise but um, at least it should make sense okay it should make sense um, so um, make sure that it is resized to a 3.5 centimeters width so let's go ahead and resize it um, just right click size and position and measure under width it resizes to 3.5 uh, maintain the aspect ratio that should be fine then the next thing is that it is aligned to the left of the column and top of the uh, paragraph starting uh, most races are organized so if you place this um, image at the start, like if I told you to put the case at the start of the paragraph, you don't have to worry about alignment. So the text wraps around the image. So just wrap the text around the image and automatically it will be aligned to the top of the paragraph as it is and to the left of uh, the margin. Alternatively, in some versions of the software, you are able to get, um, when you drag the image up and down, you're able to get um, the image um some lines bordering and showing you that you have um this is the left margin and this is the top margin of um, the paragraph so in in my case i'll just leave it at, at this because um my software is not showing me that okay so the next thing that we need to do um okay so we're done in step 17 and step 18 now says format the paragraph that stats research has shown so that it is indented one centimeter from both the left and right. Okay, so this is very important, guys. And it is it displays an external border of about three to four points. So we need to find this paragraph. Um, one thing I like about this paper is that there was a lot of searching for some text. And you cannot just, you know, read through the entire document to look for some text. You have to utilize the find um, uh, feature, the find tool. Um, in your, your Word, uh, Microsoft Word application. So we want the paragraph that starts, research has shown that, or research has shown. So just come here and search for research has shown. And we should have, uh, we should have research, research has shown. So this is the paragraph that we are told uh, to format. So we'll select it like this. And then we'll go to paragraphing and format it um, one centimeter from the left, and one centimeter from the right. Okay, and we need to add some borders, three to four points um, for the border. So go to, uh, not tabs rather, um, go to um, border and shading, and then go to a box, and you can specify the width of this three to four pixels, uh, I mean points, that's fine. And put it like that, okay? In the past, sometimes they would ask you to shade this, the gray shading and stuff like that, but this time they have not asked us to do that. So save the document, uh, rather we are here, step 2019 says spell check and proofread the document, make sure that the list chart and paragraph with the outset border are not split over two columns um, this is telling you that if you have a table or a picture or a chart or whatever, it should not be split over two columns or two pages. Okay, so you need to avoid that. There are no widows or orphans. Uh, if you already have this by default set in Microsoft um, Word, 
Microsoft will prevent automatically the windows and often so you don't have to worry about that and they're not black pages and the spacing is consistent between all um, items so you can scroll down up and down and make sure that all the elements are actually not split over the page um, please don't start to correct any spellings here um, uh, for example what is this one don't try to change the, um, this thinking it's endure or something okay so please don't do that you only check change the spelling when you've been told to do some spell checks and you only change uh, you don't change the grammar okay because you have not been told to do that all right so this has been the document production section and um, I hope you found it uh, very informative the last thing that you're just supposed to do is to print um, the document and um, that will be that will be perfectly fine Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next part of the video when we look at um, data, um, data manipulation.